In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use uh, radio buttons to control parts of form. Now, on this form, uh, I have two little sections. One is uh, information about a TV series and one information about a film. Okay, so these are specific to TV series and film. The idea really is that I only want to be able to fill in one of these at a time. So if I was trying to enter data about a TV series, uh, film should be disabled and vice versa. So I've set up this form, I've already named um, each of my um, uh, text boxes and tick boxes. So yeah, all of this is ready to go. What I now need to do is to create some radio buttons up at the top and get them to control these. So the first thing I need to do is go to design view and create my radio buttons. Now, if you click on the uh, tools up here, you'll see there's a radio button here. This is not the one you want to use. Okay, so you leave that one alone. What you really want to use is this one here. Okay, it's called an option group. And what this allows you to do is to have a group of radio buttons. It's not very clear, I'm aware, but that's, uh, that's what we want. So I'm going to draw out an option group here. And what should happen is you get a group wizard. Now this wizard is fairly straightforward to use. Now the first thing I need to type in is the values that I want to display my option groups. So I want to have TV series and films. Okay, so these are basically the options that the user is going to be able to select from the radio buttons. So I click on next. Uh, default choice, well, uh, you know, that's, that's up to you what you want. Click on next. Um, this part doesn't really matter for this uh, tutorial. So I click on next. Um, and you can see here it's got a little example of what it's going to look like. Well, that's fine, I'm happy with that. Um, and then I got to give it a name. So I'm going to say select TV or film. Okay, and that's going to be the caption at the top. So I click on OK. And you can see straight away I've got my option group there. So I'm going to go back to form view so you can see what it looks like. And you can see that's now working correctly. It's not actually controlling this yet, but it's doing what it looks right. Let's put it that way. So next. Well, we've already set TV series to be the de 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 default. So when uh, I open the form initially, I actually want the film automatically disabled. So I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to go to data. And where it says enabled, I'm just going to say no. And what that does is it grays it out. So I'm going to do the same for this one. Go to enabled and go to no. Go back to form view, you can see. I can't enter anything in there, I can't even click on it, um, but I can still do stuff here. So, when you initially have form, it'll be TV series selected initially, uh, TV series will be uh, enabled, film will be disabled. What I want to do is when I click on films, it flips over. And when I click on TV series, it flips over again. So, how do we do this? Okay, now back in design view, what I'm going to do is to get the code working. So I'm going to do films first. I'm going to click on the radio button for films and I'm going to go to events. Now, we haven't got an on click event this time, but we do have a mouse down. So I'm going to put my code on the mouse down event. So I'm going to click on the triple dots as I would normally do, go to macro builder. And what, what I've got to do, I've got to add four uh, commands in here. So the first command I need to put in is set property. Now what I really want to do is to change the property of each of the text boxes to enable uh, the right ones and disable the others. So, I've got my control name first, so I want to take number of seasons and I want to enable it. So I choose property enabled. Where it says value, sorry I want to disable it. So in value I put False. So I want to make it false, I want to get rid of it. Press save, click on close. Um, just to show you what I'm trying to do, okay, so click on number of seasons, uh, which is currently enabled, go to data, you can see there's a property called enabled, and it's got yes or no. So the false will basically disable it. So I want to do still running as well, so I go back to my macro. And I just add a new action, and it's the exact same action, set property. Um, type in still running. 
choose enables and false. Now, so I can do the next part, and this time I want to enable um, the other stuff, so the film stuff. So I'm going to go down to uh, set property again. I'm going to type in one Oscar because that's one of the things. Uh, again, I go to enables, but this time I'm going to put true. And one last time, set property. Uh, year release. And I enable it and I set that to true. I save that, click on close, go back to my form view. So what should happen now? It flips over. Okay, so as you can see, um, just by clicking on that, it's run those four commands. They have enable to and disable to. So now that bit working, what I want to do is do the same for this one. Now, rather than doing it again, I'm just going to copy and paste because um, all I have to do is do a little tweak. So I'm going to go back into my macro. I'm going to select all of them. Um, just to say, you can probably see mine's looking a bit different now. Uh, I'm going to expand it. This is what I had before. If I click on collapse all, it makes it look like that. It makes it a bit easier to copy and paste. Okay, so uh, if you've got it like looking like this, you can click on the little minuses to make them bigger and smaller to expand uh, or, or collapse it. I click on collapse all, makes it smaller. I can click on the first one, highlight them all. I can copy. I can close that down. Yeah, I'll save it. Why not? And then I can go to TV series. I can do the mouse up macro again. And I can simply paste them in. Okay, I did control V there, by the way. Um, now, obviously, this is not correct yet. I need to just go into each of them and flip them over. So this is going to be true. This is going to be true. And the reason why I'm flipping them over is because I obviously want to um, enable the um, TV series when I click on TV series and disable the film stuff. Save that, close. And what should happen now is it flips over every time we do it. And that's how you enable or disable parts of a form based on a checkbox.